Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing two nail art designs using the new Butter London collaboration collection with Barbie. And if you want to see the full live swatch video of this collaboration collection with Barbie then you can click the card that's in the corner of your screen or the link in the description box below. But anyways let's go ahead and get on into the video. For this first design, I'm going to be painting all of my nails with a base coat and then two coats of Butter London's Icon, which is this Barbie Pink Polish. And once that base color is completely dry, then I'm going to take a piece of regular scotch tape and place that diagonally on my nails, making sure to press it down completely. Then I'll paint the unmasked section of my nail with Butter London CEO, which is a cherry red cream polish, and immediately remove the tape. And then with the nail art brush dipped in 24 karat, which is a really fun gold glitter flaky polish, I'm going to paint a glitter line where the two colors meet. And finally, I'm going to finish off this design with one coat of the Hardware Shine UV Top Coat, which is going to help smooth out the design and give it a really pretty glossy shine. And here is the finished design. This second design is a little mix and match with a glitter accent nail as well as a nail art accent, but for my index finger I'm going to start with two coats of Butter London's Icon. And on my pinky I'm going to apply one coat of Butter London's CEO. You might want to apply two coats of CEO, but one coat was completely opaque for me. And for the glitter accent nail, I'm going to be using 24 karat. This is meant to be more of a topper polish, so it's got some scattered gold flaky glitters all suspended in a clear base, but for this design, I want to build that up for a glitter accent nail. So I'm going to be applying one coat of 24 karat to my nails, and while that's drying, I'll apply one layer of liquid latex around my nail. Then I'll apply 24 karat to a makeup sponge and dab it onto my nails. And what this is going to do is it's going to help soak up most of that clear polish base and allow you to just place the glitters on the nail without having the bulk of multiple layers of clear polish. And I repeated this process a few times until I couldn't see my natural nail peeking through anymore. And then I just removed the liquid latex from around my nail with a pair of tweezers. And for my nail art accent nail, I'm going to be painting some roses, but I'm going to start off with Piece of Cake, which is a light pink cream polish as my base color. For the roses, I'm going to be using Icon and CEO, and I'm going to take a medium sized dotting tool and place a dot of each color side by side. And while the polish is still wet, I'm going to take a toothpick and swirl the two colors together in a circle. This is such an easy way to create roses, and I'm going to create two more roses on either side of that first rose in the top left corner of my nail, and then I'm going to create three more roses in the bottom right corner of my nail. And for the leaves, I'm going to be mixing two different polishes together to create a green shade and I'm going to mix two drops of Yellow Submarine and one drop of Bang On together. And then I'll paint a couple of leaves in between each of the roses using a nail art brush and that green polish we just mixed. And 
And finally, I'm going to finish off this design with one coat of the Butter London Hardware Shine UV Top Coat. Here is the finished design, and once again, if you want to see the live swatch video of this Barbie collaboration collection, you can click the card at the end of the video or the link in the description box below. But anyways, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and if you're new to my channel, I do swatches, reviews, and nailer tutorials, so be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up down below. And if you recreate either of these designs, I would love to see them, so be sure to tag me on Instagram at caramelogram. Anyways, that's all for today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!